Most LEGO sets start with the assembly of mini figures. As the first episode of this new tutorial, let's introduce how to create assembly instructions for mini figures. If you like this new series, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, follow, and encourage us. Your support is what keeps us motivated to continue updating. Let's start with an example from the LEGO Modular Building, set 10255 Assembly Square. We will go through the steps to assemble this adorable baby minifigure. The minifigure is relatively simple, consisting of only two parts. First, create the model in the studio. Then, proceed to the instruction creation page. This type of step-by-step -step breakdown followed by an overall model display can generally be achieved using submodels. Select these two parts, then right-click to create a submodel. Now let's move on to the page design. In the first step, adjust the viewing angle of the mini figure. Move the mouse over the page, and when the blue frame that surrounds all the elements on the page appears, click the left mouse button. In the parameter settings on the right side, click Change Step View to adjust the perspective parameters below. Modify the Y axis parameter of model orientation to 80. For camera setup, click on Custom and change the X axis parameter to minus 20. Now, the minifigure's viewing angle should be similar to that in the official instruction book. In the second step, we need to create the assembly process for the minifigure. Move the mouse to the minifigure's head, and when a light blue border appears around the head, click the left mouse button. In the parameter settings on the right side, click Activate Buffer Exchange and set the Y axis offset to 40 to move the minifigure's head upward. Then change the color of the arrow to red. Click the arrow in the display area, and drag the small circular rings at both ends of the arrow to adjust its length and position. Once you've made the adjustments, click on a blank area of the page to see the effect. It should be close to what we want. How do we add a border to the assembly process? In the parameter settings on the right side, there is an option called Convert to Callout. Click on this option, and the border will appear. Click on the assembly process with the added border, and give the border some rounded corners. Now, we still need the completed minifigure. Move the mouse back to the border and drag it to the left. The assembled minifigure will appear. Adjust the position of the minifigure. Click on the arrow, and two small circular rings will appear at both ends of the arrow. Hold the circular rings and drag the ends of the arrow to the desired location. Then, modify the shape of the arrow. In the final step, let's adjust the appearance of the page. Click on a blank area of the page. In the parameter settings, disable the options for step number and parts list to hide the step numbers and parts lists. Then, click on the page again and change the background color to light blue. And that's it. You have now learned how to create assembly instructions for minifigures. Don't forget to give me a like. See you in the next episode.